Hello sailors, this is the Dodgy Kebab, and sometimes studios go to all the work of making a shiny new PlayStation game only for it to get banned and never come out. Obviously, each different country has its own local tastes and government, so what gets banned varies from country to country. To make this video interesting, I'm not going to include any of the mental countries where the fun police ban everything anyway, like North Korea, Saudi Arabia, or China. No, just normal countries like New Zealand, Belgium, or the home of common sense, the United Kingdom. So here are five banned PlayStation games. I thought we'd start off with a banned game that I think we can all agree people are better off without. The Belgium authorities banned FIFA 17 along with a string of other games for one particular reason. Not because they hate EA, although that too would be fully justified. They don't hate football. In fact, as of the making of this video, they're the highest ranking team in the world. No. The one thing that Belgium hates more than being known as the most boring country in Europe is loot boxes in video games. Now, Belgium say they banned any video games that feature loot boxes because it's basically gambling. Now, I agree with that, as loot boxes are an awful game mechanic and should be abolished. Although, in reality, I think Belgium banned loot boxes because they have an element of excitement to them that simply does not fit in with the overall boring nature of the rest of the country. So any game that lets you buy loot boxes as microtransactions is outlawed in the home of waffles and chocolate. Obviously, this law applies to more games than just FIFA, but when we are looking at games including Mario Kart Tour or some rubbish Xbox game, clearly FIFA is the biggest name on the list. So if you wanted to play FIFA 17 but live in Belgium, you're out of luck. Well, I guess you could just import it, but then again, you could just drive for an hour to any of the other countries nearby and buy it, as Belgium is the size of a postage stamp. An incredibly boring postage stamp. Now, I'm a big fan of Japanese games. They just do things differently than Western game studios. Now look, I like hot girls in my games too, but there is definitely a cultural difference in what sort of content seems acceptable in Japan compared to other parts of the world. This brings us to the subject of Gal Gun. I have this game as a Japanese import on PS3 and it's an on-rail shooter. But in this video, I'm actually talking about the follow-up title, Gal Gun Double Piece. But I'm going to show footage from the version I have as it's basically the same game. So what's going on here? Well, I'm not entirely sure myself, but as far as I can make out, you are this guy and have been shot by Anime Cupid, who is packing some sort of love machine gun. Getting shot this many times has made you irresistible to every single girl ever. So to get these lustful women under control, you need to shoot them with a different love gun supplied by Anime Cupid. The country of New Zealand saw this game and gave it a big fat definitely not. Was it because of the special ability to see through girls clothes? Was it mini games like this one? Maybe it was the stuff like this that got the Kiwis all worked up. It could have been the tentacle section, we just don't know for sure. What I do know is that the developer knew what they were doing the whole time as they included a panic button so that the player could press that would quickly change the on-screen action to resemble that of a Famicom RPG. So someone walks in, you're playing this, you hit the panic button, then suddenly you are out of any social danger. Rockstar Games, famous for creating media scapegoat series Grand Theft Auto, released the snuff film-styled survivor horror stealth game Manhunt in 2003. 
a game where you have to commit some pretty gruesome takedowns in order to progress is absolute catnip for lunatics like repeat grifter Jack Thompson. So you might think that this game got banned somewhere before it even hit the shelves. No, what actually follows is a story of tragic murder and fake news published by mainstream media. So in the summer of 2004, a 14-year-old boy from the UK was murdered by one of his old friends. When the media in the UK started printing stories about the event, they focused hard on the victim's parents claiming the perpetrator had copied actions they'd seen in the game Manhunt. And so the regular peddlers of fake news, the Daily Mail, started a war against violent video games because they were so outraged by the media reports that they themselves had written. Only for a couple of weeks later, for the police to determine that not only was the murder a result of a robbery and not any sort of copycat behavior, but the copy of Manhunt wasn't even found in the house of the guilty man. It was in fact found in the house of the victim. So did the UK end up banning Manhunt? No. Australia did. That's right, a totally different country banned a video game because of something that happened miles away on the other side of the equator on a totally different continent altogether. One month after the police confirmed that the media had been publishing fake news. Outstanding. Now we're going to talk about a game series called Danganronpa. Even if you've never actually heard of it before, I bet you've seen this bear character who is called Monokuma, and he is the main antagonist of the series. Anyway, Danganronpa is a very Japanese game that is a mix of visual novel, adventure, dating simulator, and detective styles of gameplay with a story that involves that bear I just showed you convincing a group of high school students to kill each other. The series is a pretty big deal nowadays and has even been developed into both an anime and a manga. The games have seen many releases in many countries, but it was the release of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony that South Korea of all places said definitely not. So was there something really bad about this entry in the series? Well, nothing that was any worse than any of the other games, but it was what had just happened in the country that made this game get on this list. Just as this game was sent to the South Korean ratings board, the news in the country was rocked by an event where a 17-year-old girl killed and dismembered an eight-year-old child. Because of this, the ratings board refused to give the game an age rating, effectively banning it from the country. This is all a bit gruesome, but you can understand why the ratings board would be a bit sensitive at that moment in time. The final game on this list, and oh my god, this is Omega Labyrinth Z, and it was banned from my country, the United Kingdom, because the game's rating board refused to rate it. Why, you may ask? Well, let me take you on a tour through it. So this is a game from the masterminds at D3. I've covered some of their games in the past on the PlayStation 2, like Fresh Swimsuit Competition, the boxing game, Love Upper. Fighting game, The Cat Fight. And Oni Chandra, Bikini Zombie Slayers. Let's just say their games have a certain style. So Omega Labyrinth is basically a dungeon crawler game with young girls in it. These girls have jiggle physics. This also extends to the player icon during gameplay. There are these three girls that star in it, and these are the three that you can see on screen right now. So if we take the pink haired girl as an example, and just see what happens when we go to the touch play mini games. This is what we get. Touch play is a very accurate description of what this mini game is. Let me just give you some sound just for a second. <laughs> Okay, so now we all know where we are with this. In the group of girls that we saw, there's also this brunette girl. She has her own touch play mini game. So let's see that. Okay, all right. Oh no, turn it off, turn it off. So that's pretty bad, right? 
But that's not the reason this was banned. You see, there is a fourth member of this all-girl group, and she's clutching the teddy bear. You know where this is going, and there is no way I'm showing the touch play mini game with her. And with that, the game was banned in the UK. The BBC even did a story on it because it's highly unusual for a video game to get banned here. But it did, and that's your five games, our ban. Thanks for watching guys, a like, subscribe and comment are very much appreciated. Plus, if you like what you saw, here are some links on the screen now to some of my other videos that I've made that you might like.